This video will show you how to make updates within Schoology, which are like announcements that show up on your homepage. This information was also presented in our Schoology 101 training videos, but here it's just specifically the only thing on this video. So again, updates are a great way to remind students of what they need to get done, such as if you have a big project and you need to chunk it into smaller information and give students reminders or guidance on what they should complete each day. This could be something that you get into the habit of doing every day to let students know what they should accomplish. And then it becomes the first thing that they see when they log into their own Schoology account. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Schoology account and I can see updates that I've made in the past. If you're connected with any teachers, you can see what uh, uh, they might be doing, such as Ms. Kessler installed an app there and that's all right. I can click this drop down box, look at my most recent ones. I can look up, up the updates only, or if I've made any polls, I can do that one as well. All right, to get to your updates, choose your course you're going to work in. The default that it will take you to is the materials section where I have the folder of assignments they're going to be working on. The updates is on the left, right underneath the materials. I'll click on that. And that's where I will create my update that will appear on their home page. The dates will be included anyway. I still like to start with a date as the first thing they will see. And then I'll write a reminder. The genetics disorder. due in two weeks. Today you should accomplish slides one and two. I'll make that bold, underline it so it stands out. If I wanted to attach a Google Doc or Google Slide Deck to this, I could get a shareable link and paste that into the body here. I could use this link area by attaching a file. If I click on that, it'll automatically take me to my computer. I could use my Z drive or a, a memory stick or anything you have saved on the computer, such as a Word document. But I'm going to cancel that out. I can also include links if I like, like to a YouTube video. I can attach this or copy it over to other courses. If you don't have your courses linked like I do, that's a way to do that. Once you hit post though, you won't be able to copy that over to other courses. So you have to remember to do it now. I can do an audio voice recording here to give them further instruction or maybe some encouragement to help motivate them to get their uh, assignments completed. And then there are polls. This should be something you could get into the habit of doing every day as kind of an exit ticket. So choice number one, I completed slides one and two. Choice two, I did not finish today. So there's my poll. They'll be able to um, select either of those, but yet remain anonymous to other students. All right, and I'm going to click post. Notice I have three sections linked here. So while each of the students will just see the announcement for their section, I'll see the announcement three times down here because I have three sections linked. All right, and if I go back to my home page,
then this becomes the first thing that I would see if I would log in. And even I can, myself as the teacher, I can vote if I wanted to. And then the votes tally over here, and you can see how your students are doing and getting their daily chunks of assignments completed.